voice recognition, app development, health and wellness. It's all here inside the Ford Research and Innovation Center in Dearborn, Michigan. This is Dave Erickson reporting for TFLcar.com. I think some of the younger guys and gals like the, all the entertainment for internet radio and Pandora and Stitcher, but the technology for business people, for instance, to be able to get directions or use sync for a hands-free phone call, right, or find a particular business is as valuable to them as it is to the younger people. We think of the vehicle as just another device. Right? And so you get these cloud-based services, like for instance, MapQuest and Google. If you're used to that, right, you can jump on there and send that destination to your sync car. You don't have to learn anything new. All sync services. Here we demonstrate how you can uh, estimate the heart rate, heart activity, with contactless sensors. We'll be able to determine, for example, stress level. The primary goal is to determine and reduce workload from uh, the drivers. You could be out, you know, driving your car, you know, you stop at a park to play a soccer game or something like that, and, and you can essentially query the app for what the current conditions are. So let me give you a quick example. UV. Um, there's a lot of different information in there. There's you know, pollen information, predominant pollen, local stuff. Again, just kind of adapting the existing interface into the vehicle. I can get uh, up-to-date news by asking for my news station. PlayStation News. Top story, President Obama is ready to announce his plan for bringing American troops home from Afghanistan. <laughs> The first scenario is Joe gets up in the morning, uh, checks his blood glucose, submits it to WellDoc through his phone, uh, also submits that he took his uh, glucose medication. Two hours later he gets in the car, the car recognizes who it is by a cell phone, checks WellDoc's uh, server and says, okay, well, we got a low blood sugar two hours ago, medication, no indication of food, no indication of new tests, is he safe to drive? Chronic illness is on the rise, but people's visit to their primary physician is on a decline. So there's an ever-increasing gap, mm -hmm. and we believe that the mobile healthcare system can provide a way to reduce that gap somewhat. And because we have Sync, which has a connectivity system and a voice control system, we believe that's the perfect way to access those kind of healthcare uh, providers in a safe manner while maintaining your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. In Dearborn, Michigan at the Ford Research and Innovation Center, this is Dave Erickson reporting for TFLcar.com.